things. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start out by pretending that the person was super strict about what they decided to call a target. And so there were six possible responses, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to say, what if they put their criterion here and they called everything that was labeled six old and everything else new? Now, it's kind of funny because that's not what we asked the person to do. We're kind of pretending that they did that based on the fact that they made these uh, responses with different confidences. And so we say, if we label their responses like this, we pretend they had this super high threshold, what was the proportion of hits and the proportion of false alarms that they made? And so first we want to define what's a hit. A hit, uh, the, the, the hit rate or the probability of, of a hit is really just going to be the... Um, the number in the, it'll be a, um, a probability, so I'll have a numerator and a denominator. In the denominator, we can just say, okay, it's the total number of targets. And uh, on the top, we'll say it's the number of targets called old. So it's basically, it's saying, how many of the targets did you call old? If you call them old, you'll be doing perfectly. Um, and if you made any mistakes, then that'll take mean that, that this number will be less than one. All right, so that's a hit, and then a false alarm is very similar. It's also a proportion. It's going to be uh, on the denominator. We'll have the number, a total number of lures presented, and on the top we'll have the number of lures called new. Oh no, number of lures called old. Because a false alarm is a mistake. Calling a lure something that you studied is a mistake. And so if you're making lots of false alarms, then that's bad. So uh, you, you called all the lures old, that's lots of false alarms. So we've got these two uh, quantities. The hits are something you do to targets. False alarms are something you do to lures. So there's two separate sets of probe stimuli the targets which give you a hit rate and the lures which give you a false alarm rate. So now we go back to our case where we want to say, okay, this person was being super strict and we want to say, all right, what's their hit rate and what's their false alarm rate? Hit rate, the total number of targets we know is 10 and we can count up the number, if they were being super strict, then they only called these three old. And so they actually only did 3 out of 10. They, they, by this super strict threshold, they're only getting uh, 3, you know, 30% of the targets right. It's not exactly fair, but um, that is a way to, by sweeping this criterion over the, this sort of confidence axis, we'll get a sense of how discriminable uh, the targets and the lures are. So bear with me. So uh, false alarms is very easy to calculate here. There were 10 lures and they didn't call any of them old by the super strict threshold, so 0 out of 10. So now we can label our axes on the ROC curve, have each one go from 0 to 1, So because this is a, a probability of a hit, probability of a false alarm. And on the, let's make a little 0.5, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so we say that they'd got 10, 20, 30% hits, 0% false alarms. And so this is our super strict super strict uh, point on the ROC curve. And so now that only gives us a, you know, a small bit of the picture. What we want to do is we want to move this criterion down. So we want to select this little criterion. Uh, let's see, will that work? Do, do, do. Okay, let's shift it down, 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 down. We're going to be a little less strict now. We're going to uh, call anything that is... Whoops. <laughs> Being too fancy. 
Anything that is uh, given a six or a five rating old, anything that's given one through four new. So I mean, we can call this like just, so that was super strict, we'll just call this strict. Let me get my paintbrush back. Strict. So hits equals false alarms equals. So hits, now we've got uh, all of these are called old and you called these other ones new. So you've gotten uh, one, two, three, four, five out of 10 and false alarms. Now you're making your first mistake. You're saying that you studied this thing, uh, but you really didn't. And so false alarms are just this guy, one out of 10. And so now we can make another point on the ROC curve corresponding to this other pretend threshold. So we did the super strict, now we're doing the strict. And so as we make our threshold more and more liberal, uh, we're gonna sweep a curve over this ROC axis. So hits now is up to 50% uh, and false alarms is only up to 10%. And so we can make another point here. All right, so we did strict and we did super strict and now we wanna be, uh, let's just have a regular threshold. This actually, I'll, I'll rewrite. Uh, so the regular threshold, six, five, four, three, two, one. If we put the criterion here, so things up here, old, three, two, and one, new. This actually matches the instructions we gave the participant. And so we can call this regular. So this is strict. All right, so the regular threshold is gonna give us some hit rate and some false alarm rate. So, um, so now we're saying four, five, and six count as an old response. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seventy percent hit seven out of ten. You're correctly saying you studied. And we only increase the false alarms by a little bit. So false alarms is two out of ten. And we can make a third point on this ROC graph. So 50, 60, 70 percent, 10, 20 percent. Okay. And so this is our regular threshold. Uh, and we can keep sweeping it. We'll have two more levels that we can sweep it to. Now we're going to do uh, 6, 5, 4, 3 count as old. And 2, 1 count as new. So that will give us hits. So what do we call this? We call this, uh, we'll do liberal and super liberal. Liberal. All right, so hits, um, now that we're doing a liberal, so six, five, four, and three all count as saying, I studied this thing. So now we're making 90%. So nine out of 10 of them are hits, false alarms. Uh, so now six, five, four, and three are all counted as you saying that you studied it. So you're making a lot more mistakes. One, two, three, four, five, six out of 10 are mistakes. So nine out of 10, six out of 10, uh, we're all the way up here, and then 50%, 60%. So we're going to be right over here for liberal. Liberal. And then I guess super liberal. I got a little room over here for super liberal. And that's going to be if uh, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Basically, we're going to say anything two or higher counts as an old response, and just the ones count as new responses. So you're basically saying uh, the hit rate, you, they're all hits. You're doing, uh, uh, so it's 10 out of, uh, hits is 10 out of 10, and false alarms is, uh, you add in these three, it's actually 9 out of 10. So by this super liberal threshold, you're doing terribly at telling these things apart. Um, but our, there's still a little bit of discriminability, so our, our super liberal threshold uh, is at 1 comma 0.9. All right, so super liberal. And so then we can just connect the dots and we get a curve and the area under this curve indicates how well this participant is able to discriminate targets from lures. And in future videos, there's lots of things we can do with this now to test this model of strength theory to determine whether this is a good model of the human memory system.